In this video, I want to show you how to copy and paste your website content and sections or designs across different websites using Elementor without an extra add-on. Let's get started. In the Elementor version 3.11, Elementor added the feature or the option where we are able to copy and paste across different websites our website content. And the beauty is that this will also be able to upload and add media to our website provided that that website is hosted. And in this video, let me take you through how you can copy and paste your website designs across different websites. Now, just to take you back over here, there is nothing else you have to do. Just simply make sure that your Elementor is updated to the version 3.11 or above. That will enable the copy paste feature by default. Now, when you look over here, you see that I have a website that I built using Elementor and Elementor Pro. And one thing I want to mention is that if you are going to copy a section onto another website, just make sure that those features are available in the destination website. Now, this means that if you are copying a website section that includes Pro features and you are pasting that section onto a website where you don't have Elementor or where you don't have those Pro features enabled, that will not be possible. So just make sure that every time you're going to copy a section onto another website that those features are enabled. Now, in this case, I want to copy from this website over here called Web Design is Easy onto another website, which is right over here. Let me first head back to under pages. But before I even go to pages, I want to show you under plugins that I also have Elementor 3.11 active and running. And in this case, I don't have Elementor Pro on this website. So I'm going to come back here to pages. I'll open up one page with Elementor. I have a sample page over here. Let me first show you a preview. Yeah, just a simple website having dummy content. Here I'll simply say edit with Elementor. Great, now that takes me straight into the editor. Now I want to copy my services section over here from this other website on this home page. So what I'll do, I first have to make sure that all the widgets that I'm using here are actually available in the free version because I'm using the Elementor free version on the destination website. Now what I'll do is just select that section, right click and then say copy. Then I'll go to the destination website and I come to the section where I'm able to add a new container. I'll right click and then say paste from another website now, again from here, you have to go ahead and hit Command V or Control Paste on your website if you're using Windows computer. So here I'll say Command V. Now that will run in the background. And in this case, it is transferring the website section and content from the other website onto this website. So just in a second, great. Now, the other thing I have to mention is that with this feature, Elementor is going to use the styles that you already have set up in your destination website. And I think I like this option over here because then you don't want to go into, you know, the process of now trying to change this layout from this style to the style that you already have set up on your destination website. But I also realized that you will have to make some adjustments to suit exactly what you want your sections to look like. So for instance, in this case, I have a button over here and this button has extra padding that I added in the website before. But on my destination website, since I already have all the styles set up from the theme, I don't want to have extra padding on the button. So in this case, what I had to do is come to style, uh, remove everything. And now it looks even better. So you can go ahead and make some changes to other uh, widgets. So in this case for the icon box, I don't want to use the HTML tag of H3, but I want to use H4. Now that will appear a little bit smaller and I can now copy and paste the style to other widgets. Now I want to go and copy another section to this website, but this section contains a media. In this case, it's an image which is right over here at the top. So here we have a title, a button, and a background image. When I copy this container, copy, and then I'm going to come over here to my destination website, and I'll say paste. So I'll paste from, you know, I'll just right click on the first section or container. I'll paste from another website. I'll confirm that by, by pressing Command and V to confirm the paste. Well, it's giving me this error to paste the element from your other website. Make sure that you have, you know, both sites updated to the latest version of Elementor and have enabled the features relevant to the copied element before trying again. Yes, I have this, but I'm wondering why it is 
not accepting so i'm going to update and reload this page i'll go back to my other website because in this container i have only the image the background image and a hero and a heading widget and as well as a button so all these features are also available in the free version of elementor so i'll copy once again come to my destination website i'll paste here in the empty canvas from other website i'll confirm awesome so we have our container imported from the other website and it is now adopting to the style that we set up now you realize that we also have our background image and you realize that we are having our container in the content width and if you want to make this to the full width obviously you are going to come over here to the settings and change this page layout to the elementor full width and that will change everything right over here but in this case i don't want to do that i want to show you that actually elementor uploads this same media file that it copied from the other website into your media library i'll come back here to my dashboard go to media library and you realize that that image has just been uploaded right over here and that is just you know a minute ago so that means that elementor will be able to bring over your media files onto the destination website and have them uploaded into your media library however if you have been building your website locally for example using local wp then you'll have to actually upload those media files manually because elementor is not able to access your computer locally but in this case it is able to access content from another server onto this other server or this web server that you are using here you can go ahead and make changes to how you want your sections to be organized and to look like so in this case i don't want to have the first container and i want to have the hero container coming up here first that's how now it looks like and you can go ahead and you know preview how your website looks like and you realize that all the content that you copied from the other website is showing up but in this case it has adopted to the styles that you set up on your destination website i hope this video answers your questions on how you can copy and paste content from one website to another using elementor without using a third-party add-on and without having to export the json files because that is how we have been doing it in the other versions of elementor whereby you either have to come right over here to the section that you want to copy then you have to save it as a template and after saving it as a template then you'll have to download that template as a json file and then upload that template on the other website and oh it's been a long process now it's even easier thank you so much for watching have a good time and see you in the next video and before you close in the next video i'll be showing you how to create this beautiful full website using elementor the free version so if you want to check this out please check out the coming video on the channel and make sure that you don't miss it out have a good time and goodbye